Hello, my name's Mel, welcome to my world, and for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm currently turning this Mercedes Vario into a luxury camper van. And when I've finished doing that, I shall then travel the world in the hunt for treasure. So if that's something that interests you, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really does help me out, and I shall be forever grateful. Now, although my Vario doesn't look much like a camper van at the moment, that is about to change. Because this weekend I went online and did a little bit of shopping and I stumbled across Magnum Motorhomes and it just so happens they're having a massive sale. So I took full advantage of that and I brought all the windows, the fan, everything I need to actually make this look a little bit more like a camper van. But I'm a little bit worried. I wanted matching windows. And as you can see, this box doesn't quite look the same as this box. So I'm about to open these boxes and just check that these windows do actually match. More importantly, do these little ones match the big ones? I think I must have saved myself around about £300 by buying this lot all in one go. Although I've got to say, I did have to use my credit card. <laughs> well, let's have a look at these. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they do actually match. I'm hoping it's just the packaging that's different and that the contents is exactly the same. Right, let's get the first one out. Oh, dear, nice. Get that out. Well, Blind. So these have got fly screens and blinds as well, all built in. Oh, it does come with instructions. Now I've been building camper vans for the best part of two decades and I've never fitted double glazing windows. I've always fitted just regular glass windows in camper vans. So that's why I'm so excited about this because it's the first time I'm going to ever have double glazing in a camper van. I do actually live full time in my Mercedes Sprinter and that's just got regular glass and because it's got regular glass in the winter I really do suffer with condensation so I'm hoping that I won't have that problem with the Vario oh, it's the same, the blinds look the same of course they're the same <laughs> yeah, they're the same Look at the little ones, see the little ones, batch the big ones. Look the same. Oh, look at them, fantastic. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Well done, Magnum Motorhome. Thumbs up from me. Also, I brought my very first ever. Max Fan Deluxe. In the past, I've just used the cheap generic fans. <laughs> I can't wait to install these. And of course, these smaller windows have also got a fly screen and blinds as well. And lots of packaging. Let's take a close look at one of these actually, see how they work. Look at that. Not too sure about this funky pattern, but look at this. It matches me van. <laughs> I didn't even realise it did that. But that does actually match. Look at that. It's the same freaking colour, almost. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it when things like that happen. Got to take a photo. Gonna have to show Becky this. So we're just gonna have to take a little selfie with the blinds for Becky. Oh, for those of you that are wondering where Becky is, by the way, she's actually working. That's why she's not been in my videos recently because she, she's actually working. There you go. There's one for Becky. She'll love that. 
I do need to order one more window though for that panel there. I need another one of these. I couldn't quite stretch it. Maybe I should buy one now while they've got this out on. Yeah, I'm going to order another one now I've seen what the quality is like. Right, I'm going to put these away before I break something. Now, I don't think I've mentioned my intended layout in the van yet. Basically, my bed is going to go across the back of the van here. So my windows need to be as high as possible. I'm going to try and get them about there. The bed's going to be about this high. And the last thing I want is my pillows or bedding actually falling out the windows when they're open. Because these are going to open like this. So uh, I need to get these up as high as possible. And the higher the windows are, means the higher I can have my bed. And the higher my bed, the easier it's going to be to get my bikes underneath it. frame fits flush against that panel, I can mark it out and cut it out. I really don't want to mess this up. Measure once, measure twice and all that. I tell it's a Mercedes Vario because the metal is ever so thick and ever so strong. I don't know why people put these vans down because uh, they're pretty well built, I can tell you. Seriously thick metal that is. My ears are ringing now. Sorry? My ears are ringing. Why? Why? How so many windows are you putting in? <laughs> I'm going to have five. But only one at a time. Oh, I have. <laughs> Fantastic. Now all I've got to do is the other side. Well there you have it, that's both holes cut in each side of my van. I've now treated all those raw metal edges with red oxide primer to make it nice and waterproof to try and prevent any rust occurring around those edges. And the phonic ply frame that I made, I'm going to actually bond that to the metal before I install the windows. But before I bond those wooden phonic ply frames to the side of the van, I need to treat the raw edges of the phonic ply. To do that, I'm going to use phonic paint. <sighs> Pardon me. Now whilst I'm waiting for the paint to dry on these frames, I'm actually going to have a bit of a tidy up and make a video all about how I'm going to get free hot water in my Mercedes Vario camper van. So if you want to see that video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, because that's one video you don't want to miss. It's going to be really interesting. A lot more interesting than watching paint dry, that's for sure. Well, I haven't got very far making a video about my calorifier because the fittings on the calorifier are wrong. Now, ever since I was a young lad, I've known that water pipes for auxiliary heating systems in car engines are 19 mil. I'm so confident, in fact, I bought a big roll of this stuff before I even ordered my engine preheater 
Oh, my calorifier. If you look on the engine preheater, it has 19 mil fittings. But the calorifier, unfortunately, has 15 mil fittings. <laughs> They're a little bit loose. So we're gonna scrap making a video about this and carry on making a video about them. Yep, it's one of those days. Right, hopefully the glue's dry now and I can actually fit the window. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I've got a water leak, the roof is leaking. I put a bucket there to catch the water and I've just tripped over it and the water's gone everywhere. But I won't show you because it's making the right spot. Right. Right now. It's dry enough. Let's see. Now I'm going to be using new pole tiger seal to glue my windows to my van. I've used this for many years and I really do trust it. I'm just going to try a little bit on this bit of cardboard just to see how it comes out. Look how lovely that comes out. I think that'll be fine. I might have to cut that a bit smaller. Now because these aren't glass, they're plastic, it's going to be very difficult to clean any of that adhesive off if I get it on the plastic. So I've got to be very careful not to do that. See it's oozed out a bit there, but that's okay because I know for a fact that if I get some white spirits that will wipe off. I'm not worried about that. It's good that it's got this plastic film on it. So glad I didn't take that plastic film off. I was half tempted to take that plastic film off. It's definitely squished out. <laughs> well I knew this was going to be messy but I didn't realise it was going to be this messy <laughs> take a look at this I really have made a mess of this but it's okay I've got plenty of white spirits look how much that has oozed out of there and across the top well, at least I know I put plenty on <laughs> all along the bottom it's oozed out as well um, yeah there's plenty coming out of the top can see it all along now, especially there. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and clean all of this off. I look, I look like Ilda Hodden with my glasses. It's not a very good look, is it? It's not very attractive at all. <laughs> oh yes, it worked. Look at them lovely clean lines. Absolutely beautiful. Now, do I peel this plastic off or do I leave it on? Oh, look at that. I think I'm going to leave the plastic on just to protect that plastic, glass, perspex, whatever it is. I'm going to leave it on there until the van is actually finished. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea. Now for these larger windows, I'm going to use a cardboard template. You can see I've already stuck a template there on the sliding door. And the reason I've done this is because I can actually get a bit of masking tape, stick the template to the door and I can visually see where that window's going to sit and how it looks. Now I did actually want the windows higher than that, I wanted them the same height as the rear windows, but unfortunately because of the framework inside the sliding door, I can't have it that as high as I'd like. So I'm going to settle for it to be symmetrical within those lines of the door. I think that look alright. Now just like the small windows I've made a frame and I've covered it with phonic paint which basically means it's waterproof. And to glue this in place I'm going to use my favourite tiger seal again. Let's get my frame and just stick it on. There you go, look. That's how strong it is. Let's get the clamp on there. My favourite little clamps. Oh, no, if I put these like that, I won't be able to open the door. So I should put them like that with the handles on the outside. That's good thinking, Mel. Anyway, there you go. That's the gist of it. It's now clamped in place. Hello? Yeah, can you see me? Yeah, you're a bit dark. What's the time? 
Quarter past nine, all right. It's a little bit late. I'm just finishing off the window. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not had anything to eat yet. Well, I have. I'd. What did I have for breakfast? Did I have breakfast? No. No. Oh, yeah. yeah I had some scrambled eggs at like two o'clock, and I haven't eaten today. No, I've not eaten. No, I've just realised I've not eaten today. No more. No more. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm going to get this finished first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Saying tomorrow. There you go, that's the window done. Well, good morning, it is now the very next day. I still haven't managed to have anything to eat yet, but we'll worry about that later. And more importantly, will the window fit? So let's get rid of these clamps. This wood was a bit Wobbly, that's why I put all these clamps on here to try and straighten it out. There was a bit of a bow in this one here. So hopefully these clamps have done their job. Held everything in place whilst my tiger seal was set. And the window will actually fit. Let's get these out of the way. Hey mate, did Tony come in last night? Tony? And not Tony Roy? I've not seen Roy for weeks. Oh really? Is he back? I don't know. I thought he was going to the doctor yesterday and that was it. No, I thought Roy was in Spain. Oh. So hello like everyone. I've hello. kidnapped Bruce from Liam the Terrible's workshop. He's yeah. now come here because I'm Liam... A I'm a YouTube slut. You are indeed. <laughs> because Liam treats Bruce very badly, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, actually. yeah. So Liam, if you're watching this, give Bruce a little bit of love, will you? Because he deserves it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You hear it from the man. Otherwise, I'll send him back with bigger bangers. <laughs> you if you know, you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> Oh, and for those of you that don't know, Bruce is the inventor of the Juicy Brucey RV charging cable, or EV, EV EV2 or RV. RV. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to charge your batteries in your camper van using an EV charging point, Bruce is your man. He's, he's put a lot of research into it, he's done a lot of work, and you've now done another upgrade to your van. Which we'll show later, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll make a, actually we'll make a whole video about this because it is something rather. I'm really impressed. I've got to say. <laughs> right, yeah, because so keep an eye out for that video later on. Um, I'll do a whole video about what Bruce has done, so you can charge your camper van batteries using an EV charging point. So we'll talk about it later on in another video later on this week. Yeah, Good. you up for that? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, then. Right. thanks. Right, now where was I? Oh yeah, I was going to try and see if this window fits. Not so I'm going to do it open. I'm going to open the window up. I just think it'll be a lot easier. Alright, let's see if this fits. Yeah, maybe doing it with the window open wasn't a good idea. But the good news is, it fits like a glove. Look at that. That does actually fit. What's it look like? Is it aesthetically pleasing? Oh yes. It's straight, that's the main thing. And it fits nicely between these two ribs with just one rib in the middle, which is why I chose this size of window. Right, so now I know the window fits, I'm gonna carry on and prep the other side. Or maybe I should have breakfast first. I feel a bit hungry. Oh. 
<laughs> well, I've got a little bit wonky on the top there. It's stopping the window from fitting. Still, I'd much rather the hole be too small than too big. We can always take a little bit off. I'll put it back on. Now I know it'd probably be easier for me to paint the bare metal edges from inside the van, but if I was to do that, if I was to get a run on the outside, I think you wouldn't see it. So that's why I'm standing outside the van rather than inside. Because the last thing I want is red oxide primer running down my lovely paintwork. Little bit of a run. Jobs are good. Huh? So whilst that dries, I'm actually going to go and get something to eat now. plan to get more out of this tube. So to squeeze out as much as we can we put a block of wood in there. Like that. Okay. Get it out. There are loads more. See? Plenty left in there. Now so this does go up one way. I've marked on it top. Yep, that's the top. So it's got to go like right. Let's get it in there. Yeah. 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 So I just want to check out the outside, check the outside, make sure that wooden frame is in exactly the right place. And if it's a little bit out, it's going to stuff me. That's it. Right, that's it. Leave that overnight and then uh, and tomorrow we can actually bond these windows in. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to turn out. I really am. Oh dear. It's going to be freaking epic, this van. It's going to be the best. So it's now the very next day. So let's take these clamps off and have a look. And see how it's all turned out. You've got a bit of drippage up here, but that's all right. It means the clamps have done their job. So there we have it, that's what it's ended up looking like. So now I've got a nice thick surface there for the, both sides of that glass panel to sandwich up against. Really pleased with that, it's nice and straight as well. This panel was a little bit warped, it kind of stuck out a little bit. But now it's nice and straight, so we should have no problem fixing those windows to the side of my van. Now as luck would have it, I've actually found some leftover Master Bond um, windscreen sealer in my box of stuff and bits and pieces and this dries in one hour so rather than use the tiger seal to bond the larger windows in I'm actually going to use master bond instead now one thing I noticed when I did the smaller windows was that this frame that clamps the window into place has actually got a top and a bottom to it you can see on here I've actually written on here at the top because if you try and put this van the other way and have it upside down for some strange reason these holes, these pre-drilled holes, don't actually line up. They only line up one way, so bear that in mind if you're fitting one of these windows. Make sure you figure out which way round this frame goes. The simple way to do that is to place it on top of the window and look down and you can see whether or not they line up with the pre-drilled holes opposite. I think when they drill these holes out they must put the frame on top and then drill it out all in one go um, because yeah if I take this off and turn it around this way some of the holes really don't line up oh there we go you can see in there it doesn't quite line up with that hole 
but if I take this off, turn it around the other way, this side, you can see lines up perfectly. So hopefully that will help somebody not make it the same mistake as I made when I fitted the very first one. It wasn't until I went to fit the second one of these windows that I realised that those frames actually go only one way. So just like when I'm fitting auto glass, I'm going to use primer around the edges, like this, really quick and easy. Now I do find that it's a really good idea not to start at the bottom when you're doing this, when you're doing an aperture like this, because if it runs, it's going to run down the van and this stuff is impossible to get off. So I always start at the top, then that way, by the time you get to the bottom, your um, primer is pretty well depleted on your little cotton bud here. Just put a tiny little bit on, you don't need a lot of this. Don't go dunking this right in because you will overload it. Just put that down because it's, we don't want to spill it. I should have got a bigger step really. I'm just going to put this on the edge like that. Oops. Like I say, this stuff sticks like proverbial to a blanket. You only need a small bead around the edge. I don't care who that is, I'm not answering it. That's what we don't want. Quick. That's exactly what we don't want because that just will not come off. White spirits really quickly. <laughs> you can see what I made mean now. <laughs> That's why you don't start at the bottom. done. Well I reckon there's enough on this to do the other side as well. I think I did actually overload it a little bit. Let's hope we're better luck on this side. Try and just to ensure a really good seal. That was a little bit more successful wasn't it? Now the big difference between Master Bond and Tiger Seal is this stuff is really hard to get out of the gun. You really have to squeeze. Good exercise for my gammy hand. And I've had this tube next to my diesel heater for a couple of hours. And it's still a bugger to get out. God, it's killing my hand. I um, had an operation on my hand a while ago. This is not good. This is hurting, this is painful. I have to swap hands, then I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. I think that other tube I'm definitely going to leave by the diesel heater for a little bit longer. Right, that's that. Now I've got a couple of ribs in the van, so I'm going to put some in those ribs as well. I'll try anyway. Right. Oh, that's a killer. Steps in place. Let's put her in. Thank you. I just need to screw the panel from behind. Yeah. I mean, it might be all right, but I don't want to take a chance of... Do you want me just to hold it in position? Yeah, just what? rest your hands there. Yeah. 
because I'm going to push from the other side with screwdriver. Right. <laughs> so that's good for you like that now. Yeah, yeah, just mind, I've got, there's some leakage there. So yeah, just. You don't want to push anymore. You no, no, really, I don't have to push anymore. Just, just to come out. I just don't want it popping out as I try and screw gotcha. the frame in. So I'm going to go the other side with this frame. Yeah. See, and then try and, Get so I've got in. these screws. Once I've got, I don't know, one at the top, one at the bottom, I'll, we'll be fine. Okay. I'll go around this way. I've got the screws and everything in there ready. That's it. Okay, you can let go now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Let's hope White Spirit gets this off. So I'm going to be gutted if it don't. Tiger Seal, I know, comes off with White Spirits. This stuff, I'm not so sure about. Oh, nice one, mate. I've just got to quickly wipe this off before it dries, and I'll be in. Bruce is treating us the pizza. Terrible timing. <laughs> yeah, I hate this stuff. I much prefer Tiger Seal. This, is, isn't, this isn't going to go to plan at all. I wish I'd stuck to using Tiger Seal now. Bucks. Look at it. It does not come off like Tiger Seal. That is going to look messy. It's not going to look anywhere as neat as the other ones. Going to have to paint over this, I think. I'm so gutted. I'm really disappointed. Yeah, it's gone into the paint. I won't be using this on the other side. That's for sure. Bollocks. Yeah. I should stick to what I know, eh? <laughs> if I'd stuck to what I know, I would have been all right. Why didn't I test this? I tested the tiger seal on the inside of the door to make sure it would wipe off of this paint. For some reason, I freaking didn't do it with this stuff. Now look at the mess I've got to clean up. Honestly, I can fuck. I'm gutted. Why did I use this stuff? That was a big mistake. Huge mistake. I've really messed this up. Can't see where gutted I am. I swear if that camera weren't rolling, I'd be throwing things across the room right now. Probably the broom or something would be getting launched down the link for the workshop. Look at the mess that is made. That's just not coming off of you. Why did you do that? Why didn't you just stick to what you know works? I'm going to have to stop filming now. So for the window on the other side of the van, I'm going to go back to using Tiger Seal. 
I'm gonna to stick to what I know works and I know I can clean this stuff off the panel. That looks a mess now and I'm so upset with myself that I didn't just use this. Stick to what you know, as they say. And that's exactly what I should have done. Dear oh Lord, I'm really upset with myself. Look how easy this stuff goes on. It's so much easier. It really is a huge difference. Oh, there goes my axle stands. I do like these windows. Yeah, they really nice. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever fitted them. First time I've ever fitted them, yeah. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Squish. Yeah. Same as before, Mel. Yeah. Just hold it while I put the. Oh, look. Got a... Good job it's got a plastic film on it, look. Oh, yeah, Careful yeah, there, yeah. I've just put a little bit of black oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't put your hand there. Yeah, that looks good, that position, Mel. Yeah. yeah, I was. Oh, the anxiety, honestly. Yeah. God, look, that's who's there. <laughs> I haven't done it up tight, it's just loose. Put one in the bottom. Hang on, one minute. Sit. Yeah, that should, should be alright now. Sorry? Yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that. Now, the big difference between Tiger Seal and Master Bond is that Tiger Seal will wipe off without staining the paintwork. Scrape as much of this off as I possibly can. That's what four down. And I may fit yet another three. But not this month. <laughs> These cost me enough. Even though Magnum Motorhomes were having a sale, and these windows were really cheap, um, I don't think I could afford to buy all of the ones I want because I actually want seven windows you know so I think I'll wait till next month for the uh, other three spread the cost as it were I've still got a fridge to buy yet as well oh and skylight I want a big one of those big hecky skylights at the back above the bed yeah we'll wait till next month for that oh yeah this stuff just wipes off so much easier than Master Bond, and it doesn't stain either. Now somebody mentioned that Tiger Seal isn't UV resistant. Well, to be honest, it doesn't have to be, because the Tiger Seal is actually underneath the window, um, so there's no light getting to it, there's no sunlight getting to it. So it doesn't have to be UV resistant. I guess that's the difference between Tiger Seal and Master Bond. Maybe Master Bond is UV resistant. I don't know, but I don't know one thing for sure, I definitely prefer using Tiger Seal for these sort of situations. Well there you go guys, it just goes to prove that it's always a good idea to use the right sealant. I mean Master Bond is perfectly good for those huge glass panels where it's got plenty of room to expand and ooze out everywhere, where it's not going to end up on the outside of the glass panel making a nasty mess but when you're fitting windows like this where you've got only got a tiny little rim I really do think it's best to use something like Tiger Seal something that's easy to wipe off the panel and maybe if you are fitting this type of window whatever sealant you choose to use try and squeeze a little bit of sealant on the inside of your door panel and see how easy it is to wipe off your paintwork using something like White Spirits something that's not going to damage your paintwork well, there you go, hopefully you found this video mildly entertaining, slightly informative. If you did, then you'll probably find this video just as entertaining. Thanks for watching, Tara for now.